You think it's done yet? Patience, my child. Hold on. See you forever. Go. Wait, that looks so good, actually. Mm-hmm. That actually looks, like, super real. Mm -hmm. It looks just like Charlie's. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea Pelsey. Okay, you know. I wish it was real. It looks real, right? I mean, yeah, but it's not. Oh, hey. Um, I gotta get headed to work, but I want to let you know your sister's sick. So she's gonna be here with us tonight and tomorrow, and um, she's sleeping on the couch. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with her? She has a sinus infection. I gave her a Z-pack. She should be okay. What's on your wrist? Oh, this? It's a tattoo. I just got it earlier. Kendall, don't play with me. Relax, it's not real, Mom. Good. But while we're on the subject, my friend's brother is a tattoo artist, and he told me that he would give me a tattoo if you come with me. You know the rules. Not until you're 18. But Mom, I mean, look how cute it is. And I have all the money saved, so I'll pay for it myself. I know, it's so cute. But it's still gonna be cute in two years. Mom. I better get to work. Love you. Bye, Kendall. Bye, Chelsea. Hey, only two more years to are 18, right? Yeah, but who wants to wait until then? There has to be another way. I could always just go to some random guy's garage and get a tattoo. Wait, you think so? <gasps> I'm gonna search. Uh, Kendall, 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 I was kidding. It was like the fastest way to get your tattoo infected. And it's gross. No, let me show you some pictures. Yeah, no, no, never mind. <coughs> Man, your sister sounds really sick. Yeah. I wish I was 18 already so I could just get a real tattoo like Charlie. Charlie's not 18. Wait, she's not? How did she get the tattoo? Well, when what I heard, she took her older sister's ID. That's it. Selena. Oh, I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. What are you saying? <laughs> You'll see. Come with me. Kendall, what are we doing? Shh, shh, don't wake her up. Can you tell me what we're doing? Okay. Selena's 19, so I can use her ID. And then, Kendall, what? What do you look like? You can't pretend to be Selena. That's insane. Um, yes, I can. Who's gonna know? Besides, she's sick. She doesn't even need her license. Where's she gonna go? There's no way she could possibly know. I don't know, Kendall. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Look, I don't need a lecture right now. Just help me get the license. What are you doing? You have to lift her leg. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, fine. But you do the lifting. I guess I'll grab the purse. <laughs> <coughs> I totally thought that we were gonna get caught. You thought almost getting caught was awesome? Oh, if this is any indication of this is gonna go, then I am terrified. No, if anything, this just shows that I'm totally gonna get away with this. <laughs> okay, I just have to look at some tattoo shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna go. I still cannot believe you're doing this. <laughs> Of course I am, I'm making my appointment right now. Done. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't believe tomorrow this is gonna be real. Oh, won't your mom notice it if you get it on your wrist? You can't pretend it's fake forever. I'll just throw long sleeves and sweaters around the house and she's not gonna know. Still, 
Kendall, I don't know, it seems kind of risky. Besides, what if the parlor finds out? They're gonna call your mom. You know what she always says, the truth always comes out in the end. Will you please stop? I do not need this kind of energy right now. I just need to take a picture of this. Send it to the tattoo artist. Yeah. ID. Okay, let's head on back. I cannot believe I did that. I mean, she literally thought that I was Selena. Yeah, I would have been crying. I'm so scared of needles. Oh, no, 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 she didn't even use a needle. She said it was some kind of new technology. Yeah. I just can't wait for it to heal so I can get this bandage off. It says you need to buy an ointment for it. It'll be fine. I mean, I'm sure I have some kind of ointment in the house. Oh, remember, can't use Neosporin on it. Well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Makes my skin break out. Do you remember that one time? Yeah. You're gonna have to buy something for it or it's gonna get infected. Well, I can't. I spent all my money on the tats. Way to plan ahead. Oh, Kendall, wait. What if your mom's home? I mean, she's gonna see that. Will you relax? Okay, in spite of what you think, I actually did plan ahead a little. Really? See? All better. Now we just have to figure out a way to get the license back to Selena. Actually, Kendall, I don't feel too good about this. I think I'm actually just gonna go home. Really, Chelsea? Yeah, sorry, but um, hey, good luck. I was wondering where you were. Uh, I was just out. Why is it so hot in here? Oh, the AC's out, and I called the property manager to fix it, but, um, I, but aren't you hot? It's like 90 degrees outside. Uh, I was getting ice cream, so now I'm cold. Though. But, but you just said you were hot. It looks like you're starting to sweat. Oh, uh, I didn't even notice it. I don't know, maybe my temperature's fluctuating. Hopefully it's not what Kendall has. Well, I'll take your temperature. You take that sweater off. And no, I'm fine. Really, Mom. Why are you being so stubborn? Are you hiding something from me? No. Well, then there's no reason for you to be wearing all of that. Roll your sleeves up. Kendall. Okay, hopefully that's the AC guy. Let's pray he can fix this today. Hey, uh, are you feeling any better? Yeah, I'm starting to. Uh, I'm just gonna go outside, I need some air. <laughs> yeah, I could call, it's way nicer out there. It's so hot in here. Oh, Kendall, have you seen my ID? I need it tomorrow for my appointment. No, it's not in your purse? No, I can't find it. You know, it's weird though. I had a dream last night that you were going through my purse when I was sleeping on the couch. I mean, I thought it was crazy, but you know, now it's gone, so. Yeah, it's super weird. Um, no, Chelsea and I were just in my room most of the time. We came out once, but you were snoring, so we didn't want to bother you. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah, I always have deep sleeps and crazy dreams whenever I'm on my meds, so. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Uh, I'll let you know if I find it though. Okay, yeah, thanks. I'll see ya. Chelsea, my arm hurts so bad, look. Oh my gosh. Oh, it hurts so bad, I think it's infected. Yeah, I think it might be. I take it you didn't get the ointment. Uh-uh, what should I do? I don't know, Kendall, it looks really bad. I mean, maybe you should go tell your mom. I mean, she's a nurse. No, oh, I'm not going to my mom. Here, I can just Google it. Kendall, look at your arm. Looks like it's about to fall off. Just. Go tell your mom. 
you know, it's not gonna fall off, but if I tell my mom that I got a tattoo, then she'll break it off. Kendall, this is serious. I mean, people get amputations and other scary stuff like that. I mean, she was gonna find out eventually, right? Okay, I'm just gonna get this over with. Pray for me. Good luck. <laughs> Mom? 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 Oh, Marty. <clears throat> Kendall, what's going on with your arm? Is that a tattoo? Yes. Are you kidding me? Why would you do this? I don't know. I mean, can we please just talk about that later? I mean, look at my arm. This is so bad, Kendall. Did you even follow the care instructions? No. I'm going to have to soak it in soap and water until we can get you into Dr. Steinway's office. I think I have to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's what happens when you get a tattoo behind your mom's back. Go sit down. Mom, are you mad at me? I can't even believe you're asking me that right now. Wait. You just stop talking, Kendall. Okay, but look at it. I mean, what is soap and water gonna do at this point? Don't worry what it's gonna do. You just better hope I can fix it before, well, I don't even wanna talk about it. Before what? Mom. Wait, before what? Oh, what did I do? Mom? Why is it fading? Is my skin peeling off? No, it's fading because it isn't real. What are you talking about? It isn't real. Yes, it is. I went to a tattoo shop. The tattoo shop was real and the tattoo artist was real, but the ink was fake. You see, when I got home from work yesterday morning, I went into your room to check on you, but you weren't here. I figured you just went out, so I was gonna leave. But that's when I saw your laptop. I didn't think anything of it, really, until your sister told me that her license was missing and that you had just left the house. That's when I put two and two together. So I decided to call the tattoo parlor. I let the person who answered know that my underage daughter would be coming in with her big sister's ID, and luckily, they'd been in this situation before and already knew what to do. So, you see, it's not real. It's henna. It should come out in about a week. Are you serious? So I just did all that for nothing. Wait, but if it's not real, then why did it get infected like this? I know it irritates your skin, so I put some on your arm while you were asleep, just to teach you a lesson. There's some Benadryl in the cupboard that should take care of it. I can't believe that you found out. Yeah, well, Kendall, you should know that the truth always comes out in the end. There's clearly a reason why I wanted you to wait until you're 18 to get a tattoo. You're not ready for it now. I know, I'm really, really sorry, Mom. Yeah, you're still in so much trouble for lying to me, for stealing your sister's ID. How come after all these years, you still can't figure out that you can't get anything past your mom? I totally should have known better. Did Selena get her license back? I put it in her room. Yeah, she found it. You can tell her all about your little shenanigans when she gets home. I guess I have no choice but to wait until I turn 18 to get a tattoo now. Hey, sweetie. How was the night with your friends? It was good. I have something to show you. Did you get a tattoo? Yeah. Are you kidding me? What were you thinking? Wait, you're seriously mad at me? I'm 19. Yeah, I'm mad. This is unbelievable. I'm going to my room. Oh no, don't walk out on me. We're gonna talk about this one. Oh. She's definitely not letting me get a tattoo anytime soon. Is that a vase? or a deformed fish. Again. Yes, Mr. Nate. 
Thank you. Thank you. Let's see how your still life is going, Donnie. Well, it's, it's a little rough, but uh, I can fix it. I can fix it. It's almost been three weeks and not an inch of progress from you. These lines are still too shaky and these curves are way too lumpy. Well, with, with my Parkinson's, uh, I can't help certain things. So I decided I would make something more interpretive. Is that the right word? I'm new at this. Interpretive? Yeah. This is an art technique class. There's absolutely no room for postmodern abstract expressionism. Well, maybe it'll be better when I'm finished. Oh, spoken like a true novice. Attention, everyone. I'd like to show you an example of what not to do. This sketch looks more like still dead rather than still life. If you expect to continue in this class, you must master my methods, or else you will fail. Try again, this time without the shaky lines. I still have a Parkinson's. Well, then maybe you shouldn't be drawing now, should you? He's trying his best. You don't have to be so mean. I'm just prepping him for the real world, Frida. People don't buy drawings from artists they feel sorry for. They buy them from people they feel inspired by. Now, if you're looking for a teacher who's gonna sugarcoat things, I'm sure there's a lot of other art classes out there. But if you expect to stay in my class, I require perfection from all of my students. No exceptions. Don't let her get to you. I think you're doing fine. I actually really like your drawing. Thanks. You know, I've always wanted to be an artist. When I was growing up, I never made time for it, but now I have time, I develop Parkinson's, so isn't life ironic? Wow, your drawing is so much better than mine. You belong in a professional art class, not, not here with us. I appreciate it. You know, it's funny, I actually dreamed of going to the Rhode Island School of Design when I was growing up. And now I've finally gotten in, but I can't pay the expensive tuition, so you're right. Life really is ironic. I know you're just going to do fine. <laughs> Silence! Art requires total concentration. Sheesh. Can't do anything around here with Cruella DeVille. Even though she's talented, I've read some of Miss Renee's online reviews. People had some things to say. I wouldn't take her comments too personally. Thanks, but you know... I can't help but think her criticism of my artwork is just spot on. Yeah. Can I see one of your sketches? I don't know. You know, it's kind of embarrassing. I, they're not that good. Donnie, art does not have to be perfect. It just has to come from the heart. All right. This is beautiful. Who is she? Someone who means a lot to me. You should have this framed. Not just because it's special, but also because then you can see how much you've improved. I don't know, you know. I've never really shown anyone my artwork before. I'd be embarrassed hanging that up. You Honestly. gotta stop second guessing yourself. Come on. How can I help you too? My friend Donnie would like to have this framed. Oh, this is really nice. I think we have something on sale that'll work with this. Should I go get it? You honestly think it's good? Of course. See, so look at the eyes. Hmm. So powerful. You might be right, Frida. I might have a knack for this after all. I told you. Is it done yet? Yeah, I will go get it for you. Oh, well, hello there. Hi. Hi, Miss Renee. We were just talking about you. What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up my latest masterpiece. I'll be selling my art at La Galerie Nouveau. That's French for... The New Art Gallery. I heard of that place. It's, uh, it's where the rich go to buy art, isn't it? Well, maybe you do know one thing about art after all. Here you go. Uh, thanks, but I didn't ask for the extra frame. Oh, no, that's for him. Does this work? Yeah, that's fine. 
That's good. You're going to put something in a frame? Don't tell me you actually sold something. No, it's for his own home. <laughs> well, I was going to say. <laughs> so what does this rinky-dink little frame have the misfortune of putting on display? <laughs> um, I was, uh, pretty bad there. What is this supposed to be? It looks like a jellyfish. No, it's a woman's face. It's beautiful. Hmm. Huh. Well, to tell you the truth, I liked it better when I thought it was a jellyfish. No offense, Donnie, but I wouldn't be wasting your disability money putting that in a frame. How could you say that? I told you I don't sugarcoat things. Now this, this is a work of art. This is going to make me a pretty penny tonight at the gallery. Are we done here? Yeah, it's already paid for. Have a nice day. Look, Donnie, I'm all about believing in your dreams, but my short son wants to be a basketball player, and I had to tell him, well, you get the idea. Take care. Yeah. Ugh, I can't stand her. Maybe she's right. You know, I don't need that frame. Just forget about Not it. Not a problem. No, no, Donnie, you can't let her discourage you. You know, I do have a limited income, and I, I really shouldn't be spending it on framing a worthless drawing. It's so. not worthless. I'll pay for it. No, listen, listen, I can't, no, I don't want you to do that. I mean, if anything, you should be spending your money on Rhode Island tuition. If I didn't believe in you, I wouldn't be doing it. Consider it an investment in your future. You know, you really didn't have to do that, but thank you. You're welcome. Hey, what are you doing tonight? I don't have any plans. We should go to the gallery. We can meet people, no. get inspiration. Yeah, I, you know, I Johnny, just... we're artists. We should go. All right, fine. But only because you bought me this frame. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. This is amazing. Oh, I hope I get to sell one of my paintings here someday. I hope you do too. I know I never will. Hey, don't say that. You know, some people say that marketing yourself as an artist is just as important as the art itself. Try to have a little confidence. What are you two doing here? Uh, um, uh, uh, we're looking for some inspiration. Go find it somewhere else. I'm trying to sell a painting and I don't need any distractions. There's a big time art dealer here. There he is. Yahoo! <laughs> you two don't belong here. Please leave before you embarrass me. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, Miss Renee. It's Renee, but you can call me anything you like, you scoundrel, you. <laughs> oh, my, have you been working out? Uh, not exactly. So, are you still teaching at the adult school? The adult institute? Yes. <laughs> Should we go? She doesn't own the place. Let's stay. If you say so. I wonder what they're talking about. I think that's called schmoozing. Ugh. Oh my gosh, is that shrimp? Mmm, Johnny, they're so good, come try one. Here, you need a hand? I got it. There. You gotta try the sauce. Whoops. Oh, here, let me. Uh, I can handle I, I can handle it, I promise. So, Henry, I was hoping that I could hang this in your gallery. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. My dress and my painting. How did this happen? Uh, it was an accident. This gentleman accidentally bumped into me. You! I, I didn't mean it. Just because you can't make art doesn't mean you have to ruin mine! You know it's not his fault. He has a disease. You know what? That's it. You're expelled from my class. What? I knew you were going to embarrass me. Now, I'm not going to ask again. Please leave. Or do I have to get the owner? All right, I'll leave. Frida had nothing to do with this. Sorry, everybody. Donnie, wait! Just one minute. One second. Frida, hold on! You did not have to treat him that way. Oh, yes, I did. He doesn't belong in this world. And a word of advice, sweetie. Be careful who you hang out with. It looks bad on you, too. Oh, save it, Gertrude. You didn't just lose Donnie, you lost me, too. Oh, great, go on, get out of here, you little art school reject. Yeah, that's right, I heard all about you. Go have a pity party with your old cripple friend. You two deserve each other.
Were they with you? Oh, no, just some former students of mine. Let's see, where were we? Oh, yes, you were telling me about what gym you work out at. <laughs> I don't. I just wear tighter suits. Oh. <laughs> you didn't have to leave. You should have stayed. You should have just stayed. <sighs> Ms. Renee was right. <sighs> I'm just... An embarrassment. Donnie, that is not true. You have talent. I've seen it. Thank you, Frida, but admit it. You're just you're just being nice to me. <laughs> I am I am not just being nice to you. If you keep working on this, you could really be somebody someday. And maybe you could even sell your art in one of these galleries. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. An artist. With Parkinson's. What was I thinking? You know, there are so many artists with disabilities that make it, right? There are? Yeah. Maurice Kajierski. He's a 23-year-old Polish artist. He was born without arms. He paints with his mouth. I never heard of him. Okay, uh, Paul Smith? He was born with cerebral palsy. He uses one finger and a typewriter to draw things. One finger? Mm. You're joking. No, I'm serious. There are so many artists with disabilities who are famous, who have figured out how to do what they love, and they sell paintings. How do you know so much about this? My dad. He was disabled from the waist up. And he learned how to paint with his feet. Mm. He would put a paintbrush between his toes. And whenever anyone would question why a disabled man was painting, he'd say, I don't have a disability. I just have a different ability. Wow. What an amazing person. Yeah. I'd love to meet him someday. Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to meet you too. Unfortunately, he passed away some time ago. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. I... It's okay. He lived life very fulfilled. He would have loved to have been an inspiration to you, too. Thank you, Frida. I'm never, never gonna forget this. You know that woman you asked about, the one I got the frame for? The one that means everything to me? Yeah. Who is she? It's my wife. She always encouraged me to draw. Even after I got Parkinson's. That's why, that's why I'm dedicating my first painting to her. Yeah. She sounds like a really amazing woman. She was. But I never took her advice and started painting until, until after she passed away. Life's ironic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It really is. You know, now that I know that story, there is absolutely no way you can give up. That's right. That's right. You're absolutely right. If not for proving Ms. Renee wrong, Ugh. I should do it just to, to prove my wife and your dad, right. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Let's call Miss Renee Gertrude. <laughs> she hates to be called by her first name, so I think it's all we should use from now on. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna leave her a negative review. With Frida's help, Donnie is once again inspired to keep going after his dream again. He keeps practicing his art. And whenever things get difficult and he feels like giving up, he remembers why he started and keeps on going. As time goes on, his skills really start to develop. People are impressed by his work and embracing his disability makes his art unique and stand out more. 
To help Donnie get more exposure, Frida makes videos of him, letting the world know about his life. He inspires people all around the world and quickly develops a following. Before long, Donnie starts selling lots of paintings. Some because people are so touched by his story. But the most common reason is people just love his art so much. A lot of time passes, and then one day, Miss Renee is about to get a big surprise. <clears throat> Lovely to see you again, darling. <laughs> Can I steal you for a moment? Sure. What's up? Well, I just wanted to see what the highest bid was so far. On my piece. There have been a couple of people who have taken a look at it, but no real offers yet. Actually, I take that back. Someone offered $200. $200? Well, a frame is worth more than that. Ugh, must be amateur night. We're the art connoisseurs with real money. You're not going to believe this. Someone just offered $15,000. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Go ahead and tell them I accept the offer. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for your piece. I meant for his. Him? Wow. Isn't that a record for first-timers at this gallery? Yes, it is. By quite a lot, actually. How is that possible? Who even allowed him to display his art here? Actually, I did. But Donnie's been all the buzz lately. His story went viral on the internet. I'm surprised you didn't hear about it. Oh, sorry, give us a moment. Donnie, I've got great news. Really? Oh my God, that's incredible! Oh, thank you so much. What could you have possibly made that someone would spend so much money on? Unless you had somebody else draw it for you. Gertrude, what a pleasure. Actually, it's this piece here. I call it Frida. Yeah, I named it after a person that uh, has really inspired me. This? But why would anybody pay so much money for this? I mean, look at all the wobbly lines. Actually, that's the real reason I bought it. It really makes it stand out. Absolutely. I agree. And that's what makes the art so unique, like all other Donnie paintings. It's so interpretive. Well, you know, it doesn't hurt that the girl is so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Donnie. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Excuse me. Oh, hold on a sec. A word of advice. Maybe if you started being nicer to people, then you could sell a painting. Oh, be quiet. I don't need to take any advice from you. Oh, well, an ex-student of yours with a disability just sold a piece of art for more than you ever will. Isn't life ironic, Gertrude? You don't have to be so rude. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you didn't like things sugar-coated. Have a nice day. Honestly, I am very flattered. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, Donnie. Uh, my son here has cerebral palsy, and I try to tell him all the time that that shouldn't stop him from going after his dreams of becoming an artist. Do you have any advice for him? Well, as a wise person once told me, don't think of it as a disability. Think of it as a different ability. See, I told you. Thank you so much. It's really amazing how far you've come, Donnie. Congrats on everything. Thank you, Frida. But you know, I could never have done this without you. That's why I want you to have this. What's this? It's a blank check. So now you can finally go to that art school you always dreamt of. Donnie, I can't take this. Of course you can take it. You helped me when I first started out. I just consider it 
an investment in your future. Hmm? Thank you. You're amazing. Honey, so, did you sell it? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mom, you won't believe this. What is it, Ronnie? I won that three-on-three -three basketball tournament. I even got MVP. You did? Yup, I told you I could ball. Oh, a letter came for you. It's from the school. I hope it's that raise that we desperately need. Move? I'm, I'm so sorry. I. You know what? Just, just, just get out of my way, old lady. Oh, goodness. Oh. <sighs> wow. That is such a beautiful sound. It's always been my dream to play, but between raising my babies. And then my grandbabies. I never found the time to learn. But now, I'm making the time, finally. At the young age of 65. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, I've always wanted to be an actress and I never had the time, but today is my very first audition at the ripe old age of 61. Oh. But to be honest, I wonder if it's all a mistake. I mean, maybe I'm too old. Well, if my life can teach you anything, it's that you're never too old to follow your dreams. You see? Wow. You know what? You are so right. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I, I'm going to be so late. I really have to go. No problem. <laughs> Excuse me, is this where the audition is? Yeah, you're in the right place. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's Craig Mason, the casting director. I heard he's discovered some of the top actresses in Hollywood. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's start with the girls. <sighs> oh, sorry. Moms and grandmas are not allowed. Oh, oh uh, I'm actually here to, to audition. Really? Do you have any acting experience? Well, no, but um, my dream has always been to become an actor. And now I'm finally pursuing it. Oh. Well, isn't it a little late in life to be pursuing your dream, Grandma? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> You're serious, okay. Well, come on in. Thank you. This is gonna be fun. Okay, <laughs> let's get this started. Oh, I'm sorry, guardians aren't allowed. Yeah, <laughs> she's not a guardian. She's actually auditioning. <laughs> I know, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Whew. Okay, let's, uh, let's start with you in the middle, come here. Stand right there. Top of page five. So you see, I never got to thank you for saving my baby's life. Delilah and me are forever grateful. We will never forget this. God bless you. Can you cry? Uh, um, I can, I can try. Please.
Um, I, I can't. Okay, well, <clears throat> have a nice day. Um, um, uh, wait, can I try it again? I was just a little nervous. Bye-bye. <laughs> Actors. Moving on. Okay, let's try you. Come here. Yeah, yes, come here. Right, stand right there. All right, now, are you sure you want to do this? Because, you know, I don't want to embarrass you at your very first audition. Uh, yes, I, I'm sure. Great. Do you have the sides? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> All right. Top of page five, whenever you are ready. my baby's life. But Delilah and I will forever be grateful. <laughs> we will never forget this. God bless you. That was incredible. Unbelievable. Is this really your first time acting? That was one of the best auditions I've ever seen. Uh, really? Oh, y y yes, thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, does this mean... <clears throat> Have a nice day. What? You can't be serious. Her performance was incredible. Yeah, she nailed that. She's exactly what we're looking for. No, it isn't. If I wanted an old lady, I would have gone to a nursing home. She is ancient, and she has no future in acting. But please, you just... No, 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 listen to me. I didn't get to where I am in life today by being a nice guy. So as I said before, have a nice day! Oh. oh, okay. You, stand over here and do it right. Oh my god. Oh my god. I knew this was a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. Hey, hey. Oh. Is everything all right? No, it's not. What's wrong? I should have never went and auditioned. Oh, I made a complete fool of myself in there. Uh, who was I kidding? A woman my age, trying to pursue her dream as an actor. Oh my God. Hey, listen to oh, me. God. Do you know what it's like for a 65 year old woman trying to learn how to play an instrument for the very first time? No, I don't. Everywhere I go, people laugh at me. They make funny faces. And they even make mean comments about my age. But you know what? I don't let that stop me. And do you know why? Because you're never too old to follow your dreams. Exactly. Which is why you shouldn't give up on yours. You got this. You're right. I got this. Thank you so much. And I am not going to let this stop me. Thank you. With inspiration from her new friend, she decides to keep chasing her dream of being an actress. She starts taking classes every week to get better at acting. Even though she's the oldest one in the class, she never lets that stop her from showing up every single day. She also attends every audition she gets invited to. Despite sometimes getting made fun of for her age, she never lets that stop her. Eventually, she starts to book some minor acting gigs in small productions and commercials. And then, over time, she ends up landing bigger and bigger roles. Which leads her to getting discovered by one of the top casting agents in the world. 
Before long, she signs a deal to be the lead actress in a major Hollywood film. Her dream of becoming an actress is finally coming true. And then, a couple years later, she happens to run into the casting agent from her first audition. Oh my gosh. Can I, can I get a photo with you? Of, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're such an inspiration to me, really. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, <clears throat> look who it is. <laughs> oh. Hello, Craig. Gotta say, I am impressed. <laughs> you are the talk of the town right now. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, you know, you are the one that got away. So yeah, look, I know things uh, didn't start off great for us, but um, why don't you come sign with me? I'm sorry, but I've already signed with another agency. Good luck. Hey, so um, how'd you do it? Like, why didn't you give up when I made fun of your age? Well, I was gonna give up. But a wise lady once reminded me that you are never too old to follow your dreams. Have a good day. Mom, don't worry about it. I'll get the medicine. It's not an issue. I'll, uh, I'll swing by after dinner. Come on, honey. You got everything? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me call you back. Bye bye. Come on. Excuse me. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Leslie. <laughs> um, sorry about that. It's lots of boxes to move. <laughs> Excuse me. Head to the door. But I was... Now. She reminds me are of... Are the new neighbors here already or are they coming later? Um, yeah. They're here now. <laughs> Great. Do you mind going in and letting them know that their neighbors here to meet them? Sure. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm the new homeowner. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's my fault, I shouldn't have been more clear. I'm Leslie, <laughs> you're a new neighbor. I, I have to go. Okay. It was nice meeting you. Yes. Come inside, quickly. But I wanted to meet the nice lady. Now you listen to me. Stay away from her. She is not a nice lady. She may even be dangerous. You understand? But we don't even know her. We're not gonna get to know her either. Now come inside. Now! Will this medicine make Grandma all better? I wish, honey, but Grandma's really sick. It'll at least help with the pain. But why doesn't she go see a doctor? Well, she does. But the doctor visits get expensive when you're as sick as grandma is. But she'll be okay though, right? Look, sweetheart. The whole thing is just, it's really complicated. But I think we should hope for the best. Okay. Okay? <laughs> you wanna grab some snacks while I wait in line? Yeah. Go ahead. Hello. Hi. Um, can I get some Dayquil, please? And something for pain. Hey, honey. Hey, Mom. 
I'm here getting you medicine. What's up? Well, I just wanted to see if... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to see what you and Emily was doing tomorrow. The church is having a special service, and I wanted to see if the two of you could come with me. Oh, uh, let me think about it. Ma, you know how I feel about going to church. Please. It'll be an early birthday present for me. Okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, baby. Well, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Yes. <laughs> Let me help you with that. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Aren't you the little princess that lives next door to me? <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I'm Leslie. I never got your name. I'm Emily. Princess Emily <laughs> has a nice ring to it. <laughs> what are those? Oh, psh, they're called tattoos. It's like art, but it's on my body. They remind me of my coloring book. I love them. Well, thank you. <laughs> You, you aren't here by yourself, are you? No, my mom's Who said you can talk to my daughter? I was just trying to... Did you follow us here? I uh, know, I'm actually shopping. You stay away from me and my family, do you hear me? I'm not dumb. What is that supposed to mean? You're a criminal, that's what it means. I have the neighborhood safety app. I get the alerts. Okay. Don't know what to say. You speak to my daughter again, I'm filing a restraining order against you. I'm an attorney, you know. Ooh. Come on, sweetheart, let's go. I thought we were getting snacks. No, I remember we had snacks. Didn't I tell you not to talk to that woman? But she was just telling to help me. Who snacks. knows what she would have done if I didn't show up? Now come on, and I better not have this conversation with you again. But, let's go. What? And, as always, I invite you to share some names of loved ones who are struggling with disease, illness, or unforeseen medical conditions. Bernice Park. Edmund Gray. Eleanor Matthews. Our thoughts are with them all. Amen. If anyone is interested in doing any volunteer work, Sign-up sheets are in the front. You have got to be kidding me. We also have some What's that doing? classes that are starting up. Uh, nothing. Just, I, I saw someone. I guess they let anybody in here these days. Oh, well, they always have, honey. It's church and everyone's welcome. Go in peace, for our mass has ended. Just give me a second. Watch Emma on the phone. <clears throat> Here to confess your sins or steal from the collection plate? Look, if you don't have anything nice to say, I prefer we not communicate. You know, first of all, you move in next to me. Then you just show up at the convenience store and now you're at my church. It's like I can't get away from you. Trust me, it isn't enjoyable for me either. Leslie! Excuse me, excuse me. Oh my god, Hey, you two know each other? Yes. Oh, how the move go. Ah, oh, it was great. I'm so happy with my new home. You'll come by and see you one day? Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> I see you met my daughter, Karen. Oh, small world. I didn't realize she was your daughter. <laughs> I moved in next door to her. Oh, you met something. It must be fate. Something like that. Eleanor, I'd love to catch up, but I have a few apartments at the shop I need to get to. Okay, baby. Well, you run them right along, and I, it was so nice to see you again. Hey. Bye. Bye. Bye, Leslie. Didn't I tell you not to talk to her? I'm sorry. 
Mama, how do you know that woman? Well, she's been coming to the church for months and we've become friends. Friends? Well, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but your friend is a criminal. A criminal? Yes. Leslie? Oh, no. She is the sweetest no, thing. The she day just... she moved in, I got this alert. A new resident with a criminal record is moving into your neighborhood. Now, who do you think that's referring to? Oh, no. That must be some misunderstanding. It's probably somebody else. No, she was the only one that moved in, Mom. Not Leslie. She wouldn't harm a fly. <laughs> Have you seen the tattoos all over her body? Well, she owns a tattoo shop, and that doesn't make her a bad person. I mean, as long as I've been coming to this church for years, one thing that I know is you can't judge anybody until you get to know them. Well, in her case, I think this is the exception. I try to see the good in everybody, and I can't. Mama, are you all right? Are you okay? Yes. I am so sorry you're not feeling well, Mama. I prayed for you this morning. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> the whole church is doing everything we can to find someone. Stay strong. <coughs> Father. <coughs> Mama, are you taking the medicine that affects you? Oh, yes. <coughs> Maybe I should take you to the doctor. Oh, no. No. <coughs> no. Mama, that does not sound good. Come on, come on, no, no, let's go. I'm taking you right now. Right now, Bob, let's go. Come on. How's the cough? It's better. I'm glad the medicine's working. Well, I, um, I got the results. And? It's not very good. I thought we had six months, maybe 12. But it looks like her condition's gotten worse. <laughs> We're gonna need to operate soon, but we still don't have a donor. I said that I would give her my kidney. Did you do that, Karen? I, I can't say no for an answer, oh, Mom, no. Unfortunately, even though you are a match, as I explained to you before, with your underlying conditions, it's just not safe. Well, I'm willing to take those chances. You can't. can't. No. It's not that simple. See, even as a medical professional, I wouldn't even be allowed to do surgery on you if I wanted to. We have to find another solution. Oh. No, I, I, I have to. I'll do it. Oh. No, honey. You're, you're way too young. I want to do whatever it takes to save grandma. <laughs> And very thoughtful of you. But like your mom said, you're too little. Well, hopefully, we're gonna be able to... Father? Some people at the church told me that you live quickly, so I thought I'd come to see you. How are you? I've had better days. She doesn't like to make anyone worry, <clears throat> but... It's worse than we thought. Dr. Rose just told us that we've run out of time. I am so sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. But our good Lord has found someone. What? Really? Yes. Oh. What are you doing here? Leslie. I was planning on surprising you on your birthday. But when Father Omar called me and told me you had to come to the hospital, mm -hmm. I decided to tell you down. Gosh. I'm going to give you one of my kidneys. Really? Are you even a match? Really? Yes. I've already checked. <laughs> Leslie's been planning this for some time and she made me promise not to say anything. I'm ready to start whenever you need me. Okay. We'll need to do some examinations and take care of some paperwork as soon as possible. I have a feeling everything's gonna be just fine. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you. 
for sending us Leslie. Amen. 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 Can you come with me? Oh, oh my oh, oh, yeah. Hold on. Can I speak to you for a moment? We're on a short time frame, so please make it fast. I just wanted to tell you how much I, I appreciate you for what you're doing for my mother. We need her around for as long as possible. And she's a good person. And so are you. I just saw your tattoos all over. And, and then I got that notification on my phone. I thought you were some sort of convict or something. I shouldn't have judged you before getting to know you. And I'm sorry. Well, I am. My ex-husband was a cop with a bad drinking problem. A lot of nights he would get violent with me. One night, I decided to defend myself. When the cops came, or his friends, they didn't care about my black eye. All they cared about was a few scratches on his arms. So, I spent some time behind bars and he walked away. It was a long time ago, and it helped me get out of the relationship, so I'm grateful for that. But this, it's fine. It's okay. You want to talk to me? <laughs> because of my criminal record, I lost custody of my daughter. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I saw her. It was, that's why it was so nice to talk to your daughter. I mean, oh, she reminded me of my little I feel so terrible. I had no idea. How come you didn't go to court? Come on. A convict to a cop. Besides, attorneys are expensive and I don't have money for that. Well, it's a good thing that your neighbor happens to be a lawyer. So you see, Your Honor, not only was her ex-husband an abuser, but he also abused his power to wrongfully convict Leslie, who was using self-defense to protect herself and her daughter. She's lying! You gotta do something. You gotta oh, yeah? Something. You gotta... How do you explain this? I've heard enough. That, that was I've heard enough. Something. Not only do I grant the plaintiff full custody of her daughter. What are you? I'm setting aside another court date to discuss having her record removed. And pursuing criminal charges against the defendant. Bailiff, would you? Let's keep him in our custody until then. Your honor, you can't do that. No, I'm a, I'm a cop. We'll see how long that lasts. Listen, Watch it. this case is closed. Give it all, Daddy loves you, okay? Daddy will be back. Don't worry, Daddy will be right back. Congratulations! I missed you so much, Mommy. I missed you too, honey. I never want to be without you again. Don't worry, you won't be. 
I couldn't have done this without you. Oh, please. It's the least I can do. You saved my mom. Hey, beautiful. Hi. Hi, my name is Emily. Nice to meet you. I'm Aaliyah. Princess Aaliyah. That has a nice ring, too. My mom always calls me that. <laughs> well, why don't we go home to celebrate, and I'll cook. Oh, I can. Yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> and I get to see your place, Leslie. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Eddie. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Do you like to draw? Yeah, my mom always used to teach me how to draw. And that's great. We can draw when we get to my house. Okay. 